Which watch is more accurate? This $17 Chinese watch made of chrome-plated plastic or this $10,000 Rolex? If you're a watch aficionado, you already know the answer. The more accurate watch by far is the $17 plastic watch. Because this is not a question of quality, it's a question of technology. That coming up next. To understand how a $17 watch can outperform a watch worth thousands, we have to talk about the heart of the watch, the movement, and the two main types of movement, mechanical and quartz. This is what a basic mechanical watch movement looks like, in this case a clone of a Swiss ETA movement. So with this movement, when you wind the crown, it moves this crown wheel or crown uh, gear which in turn moves the ratchet wheel. Underneath the ratchet wheel is this, a barrel. The barrel consists of a gear on the outside and inside the barrel is a wound up spring. So when you wind the watch it winds up the spring inside this barrel and that is what powers the watch. So this is what the movement looks like with the crown wheel and the ratchet wheel removed. Now underneath this plate, which is known as the barrel bridge, is the barrel, which contains the mainspring, as well as a train of wheels. These wheels are what the hands are attached to. The second hand is attached to the gear that rotates one time per minute. The minute hand is attached to the gear that rotates one time per hour and the hour hand is attached to the gear that rotates one time in 12 hours. At its simplest, this is what a mechanical watch is. A spring-driven watch with gears and hands attached to the gears. In most mechanical watches, the mainspring is wound by winding the crown. But in some watches, the mainspring can also be wound by moving the watch. In this case, an oscillating weight swings around, which in turn moves gears, which winds the mainspring. As long as you keep wearing the watch, the weight will keep swinging and keep winding the watch. This is called a self-winding automatic watch, or simply an automatic. Automatic just means a mechanical watch that can wind itself from wrist movement. So what is a quartz watch? Quartz is a relatively new technology. It really became big in the 1980s. A quartz watch with hands is essentially an electric motor powered by a battery whose speed is regulated by a quartz crystal oscillator and a circuit board. In this example here, you can see the battery, the circuit board, the quartz crystal oscillator, and finally the coils which are part of the motor powering the hands. Generally speaking, a $5 quartz movement is more accurate than a mechanical movement at any price. Consider this, a high quality mechanical movement ticks at 28,800 beats per hour or 4 hertz. Nearly all quartz watches beat at 32,768 hertz. They beat so fast that they're not even called beats, they're called oscillations, vibrations, or resonations. And except for the hands, if it even has hands, quartz watches have almost no moving parts, nothing to maintain, nothing to oil. A chronometer grade mechanical watch will be accurate to minus four to plus six seconds per day. Some watches a little better. A cheap quartz movement is accurate to 0.6 seconds per day. People who have grown up with quartz watches frequently complain about having to reset the time every week due to inaccuracy in a mechanical watch. Features like chronograph and GMT 
that cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars in a mechanical watch cost mere pennies on a quartz. In fact, this $17 watch has a chronograph feature with a sweep hand. Other features that simply don't exist on mechanical watches exist on quartz like altimeters, tide indicators, and backlighting. So if quartz watches are more accurate, cheaper, and have more features than mechanical watches, why do people still buy mechanical watches? And why are the world's most expensive watches mechanical? Here's a quick explanation. Watchmakers consider quartz watches and their one second at a time ticking to be soulless. They lack character. Often their movements are plain and boring looking, and even when they do have some machining or engraving to make them look more beautiful, they're still just a circuit board and a battery. Most quartz movements sell for less than $10, and very few sell for more than $400. If a part breaks, you simply buy a new part, if it's still available, or if it's not, you often just throw the whole movement away and replace it. In contrast, a mechanical movement and its sweeping seconds hand represents a beating, moving micro-universe. The most basic mechanical movements are just collections of moving parts, but even then they can be very beautiful. This Russian 2609 movement has very basic design, and yet it's so well made, compact, tiny, yet robust at the same time, and accurate and reliable. Many more expensive watch movements may be engraved, they might have beveled edges and sparkling engine turn plates. In the mid-level watches like this, Rolex movement, you can see all these design features. Some movements require hundreds of hours of sculpture work done by hand, and it's at this point that utility begins to change into art. And art has no price limit. If a part breaks on a mechanical movement, a watchmaker can build a new part, even if the watch is a hundred years old. And this is why the most expensive watches are mechanical, and why collectors will willingly forgo the accuracy of quartz for the beauty of a mechanical movement. So which is better, a quartz watch or an automatic? Well, there's no such thing as better because there's a time and place for each. Quartz watches make excellent go-to watches, at least that's what I call them. You can wake up, have a quick shower, throw on a quartz watch and head out knowing it will show the correct time. There's no winding, no resetting of the hands, no fuss. Most women's watches are quartz, after manufacturers discovered that women tend to wear their watches as accessories and often don't wind or set the time on their mechanical watches anyway. Quartz watches are also good when you need features that are only on a circuit board watch and only a circuit board watch can provide, such as altimeters, tidal charts, and GPS. Quartz movements are also very robust because of the lack of moving parts, and so are often used for sports and military watches. In contrast, mechanical watches are for those important meetings, the big date, the relaxed long weekend, anytime you want to feel good by having a purpose-built anachronism on your wrist. Wearing a mechanical watch feels different. It can feel like stepping into a time machine or, in the case of a high-end watch, like being royalty. Some of the world's best watchmakers build only mechanical watches, not even self-winding. They would like you to take a zen moment out of your day, wind the movement methodically, appreciate the majesty of the movement and the history of the watchmakers that came before them, and feel the real connection to the watch. Well, now you know the difference between a $17 quartz watch and an any price mechanical watch. You know the basic differences between the movements and you know the pros and cons for each. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure making it. And there are many more to come, so if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. And please note, 
For some of these items, there are links in the comments. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.